I know we went over some of this last time, but just to go back over it, again, we should get done fairly quickly. You should be able to get the assignment done in here. I'm probably not going to argue with you a whole lot if you don't do it. That's, that's up to you. I'm going to come in here and get a zero next time. Again, Seth, though. Seth, does it affect me if you get a zero? No. So what? No. Apparently, Seth does it, though. <laughs> I mean, I got the first one. Seven bucks done. I just turned. I kind of walked the way. How's your day? Social Security and Medicare. Uh, last, again, we talked about Social Security. Social Security is a federal government program uh, that helps you with retirement on a pay stub. You probably see something like SS, which stands for Social Security, or thing that's on the next slide. Sometimes it's also called FICA. So when you see that, that's that's dealing with your retirement. It's trying to uh, help with your retirement in case, well, because we got went through a few, several years there long before you guys were ever around, long before I was around, where people just weren't saving for their retirement. And people start getting older and older and older before they die. <coughs> And they need that retirement money or need somebody to some way to support themselves and they can't actually work then so the federal government started up this plan good plan just doesn't always work out the way they probably should have uh, it was thought several years ago it's not looking as bad now I don't guess but it was thought several years ago that by the time you guys got anywhere close to retirement, Social Security fund was going to be completely busted and gone because they used too much of the money. But I don't know. Now it seems like maybe they've got it sort of straightened out. Uh, Medicare. Medicare is a federal government program to provide medical insurance. Uh, usually for those over 65, it does ha doesn't have to be for those over 65, but that's usually what it is. A lot of times you'll see if uh, a family is on welfare or something and their health insurance is through Medicare or Medicaid, one of those. So both those are, uh, one's a, a plan for retirement, one's a plan for health care, and both of them are taken out of most all of your checks. Not everybody pays in Social Security. All right. Uh, I have a uh, teachers and staff at schools and different places uh, pay into STRS, but I also pay into Social Security. STRS is another state. It's a state retirement fund. So sometimes if you pay into those other retirement funds, you don't pay into Social Security. But then if you don't pay into Social Security, that means you can't draw on it. Uh, some of you said also too with Social Security, we said this last time, with Social Security sometimes it's not only for the person, but you'll also get benefits for surviving spouses. Uh, if that person happens to die. So if Eversole dies uh, tomorrow, then his wife would be able to draw on that Social Security and his kids would be able to draw on that Social Security account. So he didn't just pay in for anything or for nothing. This here is important stuff, especially these two percentages there. I think we sort of got to here. These two percentages, sorry, there's two of them. We sort of got to this. Please make sure you got these percentages written down somewhere. As you're writing it down, you'll see Social Security tax is 6.2%. 
Uh, you pay 6.2%, the employer also pays 6.2%. So they match what you pay. So for every, if you make $100 this week, you're going to pay in about $6 they're going to pay in about six dollars. So that means Aiden could retire on his twelve dollars that he made this week. If he, if he makes a hundred dollars and he could retire for a week and live off that twelve dollars, right Aiden? No. Social Security wages are paid only on a certain amount of money. It used to be that it was $97,500. And uh, the last time I checked it was back in 2020. Now you pay, so you pay Social Security tax on the first $137,700. That was in 2020. It's probably a little higher than that now. It might be up to like $150,000 or something. But you only pay it on the first amount, uh, that first amount of money. So if Michaela makes two hundred thousand dollars next year, she's not going to pay Social Security on all of it. So after a while, they quit taking out Social Security tax. Again, every time you see percentages like this, I said a hundred dollars. If it's about 6%, that means for every $100 that you make, you're going to pay about $6. Just look at percentages. Percentages are always out of 100. So how much are you going to pay in Medicare if you made $100? $1.45. Uh, When you hear stuff, uh, we got elections coming up for too long. When you hear stuff about school tax and county tax and all, all those different taxes, when they talk about that, that's you're going to pay so much. If you Hunter owns a house, and he's going to pay so much for that every hundred thousand dollars. That's what they're telling you. So they try to make it seem, you know, just great. Oh, if you, if you own a hundred thousand dollar house, it's only going to cost you about ten dollars a pay. Well, that doesn't sound too bad until you start adding up ten dollars for this and ten dollars for that and ten dollars for this, and then all of a sudden your check isn't much. Uh, our book say this. Our book goes with 1.45% for Medicare. When they put through the Affordable Care Act uh, a few years ago, I think it went up to like 3.8% for Medicare because the Affordable Care Act was to give everybody insurance without having to go through your job and stuff. So they needed more money in that account to cover everybody. Um, but now I, I'm not sure, and I, I have no idea, and I should be up to date on this, but I'm not. When Trump was in office, he they sort of done away with the Affordable Care Act, and but now I think it's back. I, I don't know. I don't know what the government has done. So our book goes just with the 1.45 percent that's what we're going to use but if you look at your check and stuff it might be a little different now as a matter of fact we'll look at this how about your calculators and we'll try to figure it up here and see if we can figure up anything see about what it might be does anybody see on here Social Security tax or Medicare tax or any of that? Where's Medicare? 
here and uh, uh, right second side. from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Everson. Oh, oh. I think I have my calculator at home. Yeah. Uh, white box is setting up on that chair. So that's Medicare. Social Security. The or FICA. That's what I pay into. STRS, that's a retirement plan. That's a lot, sort of like Social Security. Notice, you see STRS here, then you also see it down here. What's true about those two numbers? They're the same because this is what I pay in. And then who's paying this? The employer is paying that. They match. So it may be, Social Security might not be on here, just for the simple reason that this was, uh, let's see, gross year to date was that. Maybe I was past, maybe they changed how much you pay up to and I was past it. So it's not on there. But this is what I wanted to do anyway. What's the uh, gross pay on this chick? All right, so do this for me. On your calculators, we got 2,744.67. That's the gross pay. If we were going to figure up, we would take the gross pay times the percent, and that should equal the Medicare tax. So, if we're trying to figure out what the percentage is, because we don't know it, so we take the, our, the gross pay is this, 2744.67. We don't know the percentage, but we do know the Medicare tax, how much was it for this pay? 34.87. Is that 80 or 90? I don't know. I can't, I can't really see it from here. I think it's it looks like 80 or 90. So let's see. Do this and maybe we'll see what the other strong. Oh, yes, it makes it. That's the greatest I've ever seen. That's the way to I think it's 90. I think it's 90. So 3490. So on your calculators, what would we do to solve for the question mark here? Which one are we going to divide? Which one are you going to put in your calculator first? So this one goes in the calculator first. 2744.67 goes in there. That's going to get rid of it over here because we're going to divide both sides by that. Now, when you're dividing it, if you divide it backwards on your calculator, you should figure out that, hey, that, that's not right because when you divide this, you should get some decimal answer that we need to change into a percentage. The decimal is 0 0.01275. That's close enough. What is that as a percentage? Is that pretty close to the 1.45 that we said? So I'm guessing that we're back to that instead of what the Affordable Care Act had put into place, which was three point something. So Medicare, about 1.45% is what they usually take out. Uh, 
Uh, let's try this one. Instead of dividing it that way, divide it this way. 34.90 divided by, let's go to the adjusted groups. 19, let's say 89. Divide that, what do we come up with? be up to about that much now, that'd be about 1.76%. Again, our books are pretty old, so they're using 1.45. It may have jumped up a little bit. Uh, so I don't know which one they use. They probably use the uh, adjusted gross on this. What is the adjusted gross compared to the gross? How come there's two different things there? Sort of. All right, so when you're looking at this, your gross pay is what you actually make, period. So if there was nothing else going on, it's what you actually make. Adjusted gross, there's certain things that the government says, hey, if you do this, we're going to let you not pay taxes on it. Like, uh, Let's see here, I probably have on there that HSA. The HSA is my health care savings account. They say if I try to pay my own health care like that and have money taken out and just put in an account somewhere, the government says we're not going to tax you on it. You're, you're doing something good, so that's your money. You can take it out before the taxes, as long as you use it for health care. Now, if I start using that money for anything else, then they're going to figure it out, and then I'm going to have to go back and pay taxes on it. Uh, there's also, should be another account on there somewhere. I don't see it. Maybe it wasn't taken out on this check. But I, I put money into a college account for my sons. And they said, all right, if you're paying for your son's college, we're not going to make you pay taxes on that. So you can take that out first. So there's certain things that they allow you to take out before they start getting their taxes. So that's what the difference is. So somewhere there's about $800 that I take out and put into other accounts for my retirement, for college funds, for health care, all those different things, I take those out on oh, annuity. That's, that's the, the annuity is the college fund. So I take those monies out and put them in another account before they take out their taxes. So that's why the gross and the adjusted gross is different. Uh, when they do something in the book, they're going to tell you whether you're dealing with gross or adjusted gross. It, it won't, they won't try to confuse you. Riley's gross bi-weekly pay. What's bi-weekly mean? Every other week. Alright, so every two weeks. What's the other one that goes with that? That's sort of the same but different. Weekly is one of them. So bi-weekly is how many pays per year? Semi-monthly. So bi-weekly is how many pays per year? 26. Weekly is how many? Weekly. 52. And then semi-monthly is 24. So this is 26 pays per year. Uh, as a parts inspector, 
is $728. His earnings to date is $26,200. This number means absolutely nothing to this problem except the fact that has he earned over $97,000? Has he earned more than $97,000? So he's getting taxed on everything that he has. Uh, what amount does his employer deduct from his pay for his Social Security? Let's just do that part first and then we'll worry about it. What was that percentage for Social Security? So 6.2%. What are you going to change that to? Grab your calculators, do that real quick. Anybody, before you do it on your calculator, anybody have a guess? About how much? Six dollars for every hundred. How many hundred dollars did he make? Seven. So what's six times seven? About forty-two. So somewhere around forty-two dollars. Now punch it into your calculator. What did you come up with? How many cents? 14. Anybody else get that? $45.14, that's for social, social security. Medicare, we do the same thing, but what was the percentage for Medicare? One point four five. What's that going to be as a decimal? Zero point zero one four five. Now that's about a dollar and a half on every hundred. So if you had a dollar and a half seven times, a dollar and a half plus a dollar and a half is three dollars. Three dollars plus another three dollars is six dollars. Then nine, so I'm guessing about ten dollars, ten and a half, somewhere around there. It's almost eleven. So ten point what? Five five six. So we'll say ten point five six. That's for Medicare. Now, the second part of the question asks, how much does the employer pay in for Social Security? They pay the same, right? So the second part of this answer is, for Medicare, the employer pays the same thing. They match whatever you pay in. For Social Security, same thing. Can't spell the same thing. They pay the same thing. So they match whatever you pay in uh, as you're paying in. So if you decided you wanted to pay in more to Social Security for some reason, pay in more, they would match it. So they got to pay their employees the same? They got to pay, yeah, whatever whatever you pay in, they're going to match it to that. Man, I didn't know that. That, that would go then, you know, if you don't have a other retirement plan set up, that would go towards your retirement. Now with that, you know, if you're paying in uh, $45 and, and you want to, let's say you want to do 100 so that's an extra $55, you might be better off to put that $55, maybe not right now, but you might be better off to put that $55 into a retirement plan, an annuity or something, because it's probably going to, with the federal government, it just sort of sets there and it doesn't make a whole lot of extra money. So you're not, if you put in $45, that's probably about what you're gonna have in there. But if you put it in some kind of annuity plan or something where you're, it's getting invested, then it might, earn more money. Now the bad thing with that right now is, does anybody know anything about what's going on with investments and stuff? Right, take money. 
They're going down and up. I just think they're out there. It just depends. They're sort of going crazy. And I know the investments that I have, we have, uh, you've probably seen on news, different news stories, uh, you know, commercials and stuff. The oh, state of Ohio put in something a couple years ago. It's called the, I don't even remember what it is. It's like the 509 plan or something. It's a college fund. And if you put into this college fund, they won't tax you on it, and it's supposed to draw money pretty quickly because the state of Ohio is uh, making it so that if you're using it for college money, it's growing quicker than other stuff. And so we put a bunch of money in for my youngest son to a 509 or whatever it's called. I can't remember what his kid's name, I can't remember. Whatever it's called, we put in a bunch of money for my younger son, put in like, started an account, put in like $5,000 to start with. And we keep putting more money into it. And the uh, person at our investment place said, oh yeah, these can't lose money. The account's down to like $2,000. I've lost over half of my money. And it, it's, one of, it's one of the accounts that's not supposed to be able to lose money. So when you see that, the state of Ohio, and I tell the, I tell the guy, as I go in there every, because they want us to come in once a month to, uh, thanks, sir. Did he have plans? Are they laying there, you think? They're uh, stapled to that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep, no problem. There's a lot of people here, though. Is there? Yeah, well, is that for work? Get a schedule. I about took the day off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't be able to see you guys. But, so, every time I go in there and I talk to the guy, and he says, oh, no, it's, it's going to be all right. It's going to go back up. And it's, I said, you know what? If I took my $5,000 and stuck it under my mattress, I still have $5,000. Oh, but it's got no chance to grow. And I said, yeah, but it's got no chance for me to lose it either. And right now I'm down $3,000 from what we've been putting in there. That's why I really put it in my <laughs> The assignments on page 137, 1 through 19, I'll give you guys a choice. You just want to work them on your own or do you want me to work them? Or um, work them on your own? Yeah. Yeah, you can work with the partner as long as you're working.